Oh, Do your gay boy. Do you have a gay character? Do it. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, my God. That was great. You know, I know that was great because it's the creepiest thing ever. Oh. Hi. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. I, That's disgusting, Mario. Do you want to play with some happy people? What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? <laughs> happy people? You, you know what? I, this rhetoric I can't stand. I wrote some jokes. I'll let you. <clears throat> okay. What are they about? So one is, um, it was Sunday's Huffington Post thing that I pulled, and it says... So these are jokes ripped from this headline? No, no. I wrote the joke to a piece from my headline, and a guy, this guy wrote, I moved my family to the ghetto to have a better life. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, uh, what are you, fucking crazy? That's what Gilbert Goffrey would say. I mean, come on. How could you move your family to the, to this, to the ghetto? So I could just see Fred Sanford telling a month. <laughs> All right, let's just stop right there. Let's just stop right there. I mean, I, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, did you run these jokes by anybody? <laughs> How is that a joke? It's a joke. I, don't I didn't know. finish it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, the setup isn't long enough. Well, I, so I, wait, I, your I, jokes have <laughs> clips from well, shows in them? <laughs> you big <laughs> dummy. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So you called Dan for pre-production of your joke? <laughs> yes. This isn't really a joke. It's kind of like a novella. Well, I got one. This isn't really a joke. After. It's kind of like an annoying story. <laughs> well, listen, I have an idea. Oh Christ, that's Audrey, the problem. I have a big idea. Let's yeah. pack up and move to the ghetto, and we'll send Dan back to Chicago for some pasta and pizza. Dynamite! <laughs> that, that's I. First of all, I, I'm astonished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm astonished at the production value. <laughs> I mean, why not just go with a knock knock joke or something? It's less production. You made Dan find those clips. <laughs> For that, is that the joke? Are we done I now? I gave him a coupon. Are we done now? No, I have one more. No, I mean with that particular joke, we're that done. That joke, we're done with. I need you. What do you think? It's 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 the worst thing I've ever heard. Two men shooting white cream. White cream. <laughs> With their <laughs> Dynamite! I mean, oh. We're all laughing at the song, and Mario chooses to yell something out. I've never seen Are your someone, headsets I've never you seen someone talking? with worse what? comedic timing. <laughs> I mean, that's like you, you should go on the Tonight Show with like when, back in the old days with George Collins about to do the seven dirty words, <laughs> and as he hits the last one, he just yells, "Can I say something from a guy in Louisiana wants to say I'm on special ed?" <laughs> Rob from L.A. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? It's funny. No, it's it's not even close. If 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 you could have a picture of whatever the direct opposite of funny is in the dictionary, <laughs> it would be you yelling into the mic. Well, that whatever they say on the phone, hmm. it's not your fault. It's these idiots. You think we're on live? They can't hear that. You put up a picture like we're on television before. I put a picture. I mean, I'm worried about you. Support. Go ahead. What do you want, man? Tell your okay. joke. Okay. Did you see? Uh, we just watched it. TMC on cam, which I just saw you being spoken about Bill Cosby. Wait a minute. Let's break down that sentence. <laughs> I just saw you bespoke about Bill Cosby. What the fuck I did you? What the you fuck did DM's you just say? Do you have music in the joke again? Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is a congressman, Peter King, couldn't yeah. help to make sexist jokes about Kim Kardashian West. She had to use the West because she's embarrassed about the Kardashian name. Is well, un they claiming she's an oh she's married to Kanye spy. West right okay. right Kanye West oh, Jesus. then she's that she's, they're claiming she's an undercover spy. Who said that? What do you mean who said that? Oh, here you go, Peter Gunn. TMC said that he she's a, uh, an undercover spy, <laughs> and they they want to just picture her under the covers with Kanye West. Right. So I could imagine that. What would Kanye say to the son of a bitch? You sick fucking puppet. You're looking at this fucking thing, so my girlfriend, and she's an undercover spy. Fuck you, who blessed you. You want another one? Is that no. is that the joke? Yeah, that was it. it was what, just what, a... what, 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 can I explain to you what a joke is? <laughs> uh, do you know the definition of a joke? A punchline? You need a punchline. You basically said that Kanye West said, fuck you. I You're not selling the chocolates. Chocolates. Is that what you would say? I would say. Is that you? Is that what you're saying? Black people I, are coming? No, I would tell them, "Hey, cho you want to buy a chocolate rose?" And the guy would say something. I say, "Come on, you big doofus, buy your girl a chocolate rose." I mean, the the the, the, the one story is worse than the next. <laughs> I know. 
no no story has a point. They're all pointless stories. Well, exactly. Thank. That was actually clever. What do you like? Who are you more of a... Uh, I'm a, a Bill Cosby fan. <laughs> that, that, now, you were a huge Bill Cosby fan, of course, the controversy. Uh, does it change your opinion of him that uh, he raped uh, maybe a thousand women? Um, kind of because it's it's not something you want to hear from a person that gave you some good show business. Um, you know, some he gave me career ideas and what to do and where not to go and what agents to go with. I'd like to congratulate you. I've never heard a worse sentence. <laughs> I've never heard a sentence constructed worse. He gave me some advice, some critical what advice. What did he say like for you to do? Well, he told me to get Hijack a podcast? How'd you book that? My publicist booked me. She goes, you're going to Detroit, Michigan. I said, over your dead body, Let me bitch. tell you something. Let me tell you something. It, it, well, look, I might have heard this wrong. Is she paying you $2,000? <laughs> no, I'm paying this Where bitch. are you coming up with the scratch to get her two G's a month? Or, I, I mean, you need that money. You poor mother. Would, would you, for what? What is she doing for you? She gets me books on booking. T- on on what, what does she get? I got you here. Well, you got me here. This is the biggest I- thing you do, quite frankly. Uh, Douglas Coleman. Hey, and then she got me on the Black Cowboy in Texas. The what? The Black Cowboy. That sounds Texas. like it's got a lot of listeners. <laughs> the Black Cowboy in Texas. It's a radio show. Who's that, Michael Irvin? <laughs> no, not Michael Irvin. You That's a Black Cowboy to me. Well, he was with the cowboy. What about the Gay Cowboy in Texas? <laughs> is Romo available? <laughs> okay, so when is that? That's uh, <laughs> July 19th, the Black Cowboy. Boy, she's earning that two G's right mm-hmm. again. And June 12th. Is she making stuff up? No, she books me. Oh, with that voice. It sounds so, like a mouse. It's making your mouse fuck your mouth. I texted him a few weeks ago. Yeah. He was in Chicago then. Right. And he forgot to text him back because in Chicago they forget. They'll, you know, they're not like <laughs> us. We're not, we're not on the. If anybody knows what Mario's talking about, I want, you to, I want you to text an explanation <laughs> of what he just One said. One more time. He was in Chicago. He was in New York. Right. The two of them yeah. were texting. He was texting Dan. Right. But Dan, when he's in Chicago, his head goes the other way. <laughs> okay. He's not paying attention to life in New York. Right. There are retarded homeless people <laughs> who have made more sense. <laughs> Want to do an improv game? It's called World's Worst. I'll give you an occupation. And you say what the world's worst occupation, like that person would say. Like, if I, world's worst teacher would say, who needs a beer? You know, something like that. Okay. So I'm going to give you an occupation. You say what the world's worst of that would say. All right, here. World's worst cop, what would they say? World's worst cop donut. <sighs> okay, so no, not, don't yell out a We could say more than one word. He would just yell out donut? He would say, let's get a donut or something? Yeah, let's get a donut. Let's get a okay, couple you, coffee. Okay, let's try to do not the hackiest joke of all time. That's, that's not original. Anybody, your mother would say that. Worst you, occupation. Okay, world's worst plumber. What would the world's worst plumber say? Was was from uh, your pipes are broken. That's, Mucho dinero. That's what the world's best plumber would think. <laughs> you've just uh, you you you've you've diagnosed the problem. The world's worst plumber would not say your pipes are broken. He wouldn't even know what a pipe is. You get it? Right. He would say no. What would the world's worst hooker say? Ha ha ha. What would the worst hooker would say? The world's worst hooker. Ah, you're terrible at this. I am too busy <laughs> to blow you ah, now. Terrible. Come back in about an hour. You're terrible at this. Uh, again, you should get an improv first before you get into show business. I uh, do good improvs. You're giving me something on the spot. Yeah, those are tough ones. That's improv, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just... <laughs> Thank you, Josh, for pointing out. <laughs> you said, I'm good at improv, not when you give me something on the spot. This wasn't a comedy bit. It was something that happened to me over the weekend. So what, why do you think we want to talk about it? Because I know you want to know what's going on in my life. That's a big negative. <laughs> I mean, not on the air. I, when you tell me on the phone, I can put the phone down and walk around and pretend I'm listening. <laughs> and you could treat me like Dan Cheech Judge. I do treat you like I, I treat you lovely. Yeah. So what is this about? It's not a, Dan, why do you think this is a comedy bit? I don't know why you think Dan said a it's a comedy, but well, what is it? I was selling candy in Coney Island. Some guy called me a leprechaun. He goes, hey, up, leprechaun. Are you magically Is delicious? this a joke? No, I'm serious. So I told him, eat my shit. You might get lucky and find some charms. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm just going to let the silence. <laughs> you know, sometimes silence you, is louder. You want me to play it now? You, you said you were going to point to me. Oh, wait a minute. So there, it is a bit. So yeah. Dan's right. 
Wait a minute. Let's start. Just to do play it to no, start you, from the top. You told me you were going to point. This guy in Coney Island called me a leprechaun because I was selling candy. Thought I was a leprechaun because I was wearing this green Mary, Jack Mary, Mary, Listen closely. You know what that sound is? People uh, canceling their subscription. <laughs> <laughs> it's not canceling shit. I'm the one being called the leprechaun in other fucking names. Okay, go ahead. And he's, what happened? He's working hard, the poor guy. Go ahead. Island. Coney Island, you know, a lot of shoot bang bangs. Bang, so, bang, bang. So shot. go ahead. What happened? No, he saw. He told me my shit, and you might get lucky and find some charms. He and now me what? A leprechaun. And so you pointed the leprechaun is lucky charms. You pointed the lucky charms. They're magically delicious. They're magically delicious. <laughs> <laughs> then to, uh, then to day late in the dollar I even, short. I don't even know. I don't know how to react to that. I don't even know. I that, do. That's the worst instinct. <laughs> that's the worst comedic instinct ever. But it's somehow funny. Like, what, first of all, the, every reference you have is 1974. <laughs> and uh, we shot the pilot. Took about two weeks in the fall. It got picked up for eight episodes, and they offered me four of the episodes. I think. And uh, which was amazing. So now I'm playing me on an HBO series, which is absolutely unreal. <laughs> uh, that Judd Apatow is producing. Well, I have to say congratulations, Audie. Well, thank you so much. I wish you an Emmy. But I mean, now, now that's anticlimactic. Now if I don't win an Emmy. It's <laughs> well, no, I wish you. You're one of those guys where you say uh, to one of your buddies, say, say you're making like a million dollars a year. You say, right, do you guess how much I made this year? And your buddy goes, 50 million. Now it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, but I would be very proud. I'm not. Yeah, me too, but I'm not going to win a fucking Emmy. Now Why everything not? I do, now everything I do is a disappointment. <laughs> oh, I didn't win an Emmy. Good going, Mario. Ruined My the whole vibe God. Of the story. Why don't you just bring up me committing suicide? <laughs> That's not nice. I hope you win an Oscar. No. It's television. It's an, he's an I hope Emmy. you're the first TV actor to win an Oscar. <laughs> no, I hope you win an Emmy, a uh, people's choice. Well, just make it more realistic for some, something gold. like me. Like, uh, I hope you don't get AIDS. <laughs> 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 then it's like very, you know. Then that, that's doable for me. <laughs> in 2017, I probably won't get AIDS. <laughs> and if you say, I hope you don't get AIDS, then I look successful. <laughs> you go, you know, I, I go, hey, I got a TV show. Everything's great. Wait an Emmy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> now, it's a, now it's a failure. No, it's not. Now you're failure. setting me up for failure. No. I would never set you up for failure. It's like you, it's like you want to tell your friend. You, 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 it's like you want to tell your friend you hit a home run. And you go, did you hit a Grand Slam home run? No. Do you know what Well, now I, do? I don't want to tell you the story. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what I do. I look through the breakdowns every day. Uh, uh, Mario. To find I, a I, role. I'm trying to. I, I would, <laughs> listen, let me tell you something. If, I, if you asked me to make a list of things I want to hear right now, your story about you looking at the breakdowns would be like, I need a whole notebook of pages to, to write the shit I'd rather hear. <laughs> I'd rather hear the sound of like someone cutting. De, de, uh, I'd rather hear the sound of ISIS decapitating my grandmother. <laughs> my, I don't have my high school diploma. I don't know where it is. I lost it. You so probably close. sold it for Coke. Well, let's move on. <laughs> I went from winning an Emmy to someone. I mean, what is, what is going on with you? Now you're lashing out like John. Is that what you're doing? No. Are you lashing out like I'm John? I'm lashing out at you. Don't you're a I... scumbag. <laughs> you're lashing out like John now. Why? Because I have I have a job where I kiss Gina Gershon. <laughs> And you're going to an engagement party in Benzler's? Are you jealous because I'm, I'm making out with Gina Gershon? Yeah, I'm very. You, it seems like it because now you're lashing out. Maybe you saw the fuck. <laughs> Maybe, uh, you know, you won't win an Emmy. I never said you won't win an Emmy. You said you should win an Emmy. And I you ruined said... my whole existence. All let's right. move on. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Let's, 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 let's leave this rhetoric. <laughs> Again, the bit was going great with Petraco's grandkid. I was getting laughs. Some coke, everything was working. And then here we go. Maybe you got a high school diploma. You what, what, me what part of you d d thought you were helping with that? Do you hear people laughing? Do you ever mm -hmm. go, hey, hey, little butt chubby Petraco, go glue it to your grandfather. I'm being funny. <laughs> That's called a, someone being funny. And you're sitting there going, uh -uh, I got a $4 show done. <laughs> <laughs> Let me yell out something because I want to help the bit. I'm, a, I'm the bit helper. I'm Mario the bit helper. Oh, he's not getting enough laughs. Okay, you hear high school diploma. Did you get a certificate? 
<laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> Jesus, oh, wow. Jesus, it's Christmas. Damn, play the fucking gay song and shut the fuck up. Who, who left you, Johnny Carson, asshole? Oh, you're giving dad orders. I'm not done yet, prick. Gone. We're going to stick our penises because you have a penis Mario, as well. Mario, are you for this? Mario, no, not at sir. all. Sir. I am for nothing of this because I don't need to. Uh, what, are you a prude? No, you don't no have prude. to prove anything. What, I don't an have asshole? to prove anything. Right, you don't have to prove anything. I'm a 100% as long as guy. I, I was born guy and I will die a guy. All right, all right. That's what Jamie Lee Curtis said, but we heard different. As long <laughs> as... <laughs> as, as right? As long as you respect right? me, Mario, as long as you respect me feeling an attraction to you as a female. Well, first of all... Because that, there's some kind of fucking gender shit. There ain't that no I gender be, shit First now. of all, I should have some kind of rights as a human being to feel like you're a beautiful lady, even though you keep saying you're a dude. This is, this is going even you crazier have a book. than I This was going to be winning the 2016, no, 17 oh. Emmy oh. for comedy show, Audie Lang. For think, comedy show? How am I going to win that? It's not gonna, my show. Well, you're, you sound ridiculous. You're starring on the show. You sound like a housewife in Indiana. So who you don't want to put Emmy Didn't he say on the last the show, day. don't say stuff like that because now he, if he doesn't get an Emmy nomination, he's going to... Well, he's already ruined. <laughs> He's gonna get the Emmy now. I'm He's sure. ruined it with my rhetoric, with your rhetoric. <laughs> but uh, sorry. Oh, thank you though. Thank you for your vote of confidence. I would vote for you. No, but uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing so well on the show. In my opinion, ask me what my name is, Mario. Again, Audie. <laughs> no, ask me what's your name. Oh, Audie. You fuck. Audie, what's You're your acting. name? You're acting, Audie. What's your name? Okay, Audie. Well, what's your name? Okay. That's like saying, what color is uh, George Washington's white horse? Artie, what's your name? Okay, what's your name on the show? Once again, insanely wrong. I want you to say, what's your name? What's your name? That's it. Little girl, what's your name? <laughs> no. Okay, say it again. Well, I, I want to do a character because I'm doing so well. Again. What's your name? What's my name? I just booked four more episodes of an Apatow HBO show. You wrote a book no one's reading. That's my name. <laughs> Say it again. I don't find that funny at all. I'm doing Alec Baldwin's character. That's, that's from what we're Glenn from Glenn the Emmy Ga from Gl Oh, Glenn Ross. Glenn, Glenn Gary. Glenn Ross. Glenn Ross. I've told, you know how many times I've told Tony Danza I liked him and Ice Man coming? <laughs> I was with him the other day. Oh my God! <laughs> I was. What, what, so okay, what's the story? Any story? He, yeah, he owns a. What do you say? What's up, Bosk? No, he said, "What's up, Mel? You gave me a kiss on both cheeks. How are you?" You fruit. How's the family? One cheek is the kiss of death, by the way. That's what the ABC uh, president gave him at the seventh season of Who's the Boss <laughs> up front. Uh, now, do you like him on Who's the Boss or Taxi better? Both. But who's the boss? He played a guy from Brooklyn who, um, you know, Tony Maselli from Brooklyn. Yep. In Taxi, he really wasn't the star are you, of the I, show. Wait, first of all, Mary, are you actually giving us a synopsis, a rundown no. of his role in those two shows? We know it. We know it. We grew up in America. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm just sitting here making you laugh. Who are you, the lame TV guide? <laughs> Jesus. I used to buy them back in the day. Wow, that's interesting. Cut that out. Stand up came in here, started throwing his weight around. Dan, you have any new songs? Anybody send anything in? Yes. Oh, great. Can we hear a new song? I tried to sell him candy in uh, Mulberry Street, Gino Russo. And, uh. Let's take a commercial. <laughs> Are we done with that? Okay. Is that the story? What happened? What happened? Did, did he say yes? Well, he, when I told him I, you know, I became funny, I was being a wise ass. Oh, boy. He, he chased me away. Well, that's what I'm saying, but you're not always charming to people. <laughs> but bro, he's not the fucking Donna Yeah, Mulberry but what did you say? You insulted him? <laughs> what, what did you insult him? He got slapped up in his own fucking movie. He did you insult him? Yes. Oh, what did you say? I don't know. I called him a jerk off. Oh, well, that's very clever. 
You have to be clever. Do you understand when you're like someone? Let's take someone when you're, you're talking to me. Do you realize I'm very witty? You understand? Like I can't. I'm talk, when I'm talking down or I talk, I'm slumming in the conversation. <laughs> you understand? I'm used to think tank type wit. I'm used to people who uh, you know uh, have won awards for a funny uh, conversation. <laughs> and then when I talk to you, it's kind of like you know what it's like. It's like Picasso looking at a picture on a bathroom wall. Someone <laughs> scrawled with a crayon. Hmm. On a, on a, at the Joyce Kilmer rest stop in Jersey in the bathroom. It's like Picasso looking at that hmm. when I talk to you. I say, fuck Picasso. When I talk to you, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's like Babe Ruth at a Little League game. Fuck Picasso, fuck Babe Ruth, <laughs> and fuck you too. See what I mean? That's, what that's the so, fuck that, that's is all, Dan That's actually doing, like a retard. I want to know what Dan is doing on this computer. It's like listening to a dog bark. <laughs> that's how out of, out of your league you are when we're having a witty conversation. Witty conversations. Right. Oh, we're having witty conversations. Well, say Ooh. something witty. You know what wit means? It means you have some sort of clever... I'm talking about the guy. I'll the give you a wit from... thing. This, here's a quote. It's a small world, but I wouldn't want to paint it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> say something like that. Say something like that in that, in that level. In that level? You can't have everything. Where would you put it? Where's your something blue balls like tonight, Dan? I smell dick. Did you burp? <laughs> <laughs> it's top shelf shit right say there. Say something like that. They're all pink on the inside. <laughs> They're all pink. Say something that's clever. That veal color, it better be pink. See, that's not even close. <laughs> oh, it God. doesn't make any sense. See, when I call you, I, I, I know I'm going to be bored. <laughs> that's like, why the It's fans. like listening to a hot chick talk, but at least I fucked them. With you, there's no uptake. There's no. There's nothing to look forward to. I'll tell you, the Russell Brand version of Arthur. After I watched that, oh. I, came, I went home and I tried to fit my head in the blender. <laughs> I said, because life is over. It's over. What? That was one of my favorite films. I'm going to ask you to politely shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I'm talking about... Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, are, I are, hear are you. you. Trying, are, you writing the first, are you writing the script for the Spatula movie? <laughs> for the best No, the, Andrew, the Russell Brand version, Arthur, the remake. That's one of your favorite films? No, I hate that one. Well, fucking listen up. That's what I was talking about. You're busy Googling fuckface. <laughs> what is the quote you want? No, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the dog in the fight size. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a quote from Scott Baio. Oh, from Scott Baio. What's, 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 what's the quote? What's the quote? Can I fuck you? No, it was a... <laughs> you didn't say what's it on the your quote? Apple What's watch? the quote? I'm at the bus station. <laughs> Did the next blonde get off the fucking train yet? No, it was about uh, Hillary Clinton. His daughter went... Can I fuck you? Hey, Hillary, you're the one pr woman uh, I haven't fucked. You don't want to fuck Hillary, I guarantee you that one. Yeah, do you understand that uh, everything I'm saying is like a joke and you're explaining it for no reason? You know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. comedy napalm. Yeah, no, it's like talking to a retard. <laughs> it's like doing comedy for retards. <laughs> like they explain it because they don't get it. Like you, you, did, like, you ever tell a knock-knock joke to a retard? That's how it goes. Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, orange. Why would an orange be at the door? Because it's just a joke. I don't get it. Uh, say what you want about Cat Williams. The first time I heard him say this phrase, ain't no nigga in the history of niggadom giving a fuck about your toes. We don't give a shit if you wear toenail bottles. Ain't no nigga in the history of niggadom. <laughs> when he said the word niggadom, I laughed for three fucking weeks. <laughs> niggadom. <laughs> That's an original. Mm. Yeah, I just made the noise. <laughs> that noise is class. I'm going to isolate it. Mm. Just what Daniel. <laughs> and I look over, I think he, like he's going to laugh, and then he's not even looking at me. Mm. Ain't no nigga in history. Mm. 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 Do you think that's helping? <laughs> Do you think that's helping? I'm cracking Josh up. No, you, yeah, because you suck. <laughs> Don't we all at times? No, not like this. There's no coming back from this type of sucking. And I said to the lady, where are we the where the DJs? <laughs> no, I'm talking about people hitting on I you said, thinking you're a woman. Can I finish? Okay, I go said, ahead. I said By all the, means, let me interrupt. I said to the Please. lady, where are the uh, plain almonds? She goes, sweetie, honey, we don't have any. I said, I ain't a sweetie, honey. I'm a guy, jerk off. Can I say it again? Tell the story again. Tell the story again. No. I didn't hear it. You're not answering my question, though. Yeah. What? What? Repeat your question. What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have told me that men hit on you. Right. Yeah, they think I'm a woman. So what do you say to them? That was the question. I what call him a jack-off. 
Fucking go to bed with them? I'm making, I'm making, waiting some blood work to get back. Oh yeah, what is the doctor gonna say? He's gonna say seconds. you need some amusement. Do you know any, do you know Mary Bosco? He's <laughs> yeah. gonna say stop beating fucking cupcakes. Stop. Fuck the little Debbie. Don't eat her. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Josh, when you fuck little Debbie and no, not I eat her. I love that, uh, this is how great this show is, is that I get to hear you and Artie can blow his nose through your whole story. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, still I, funny. I don't mean to be uh, rude, but I, I like the story, but God. <laughs> People pay six ninety five to hear Artie blow his fucking nose. I love how you're counting Artie. Uh, I was a junior. That was the year I had 405. You heard right. <laughs> I had 405, by the way. My fucking junior year. No performance enhancing drugs. When no. will that air, Roddy? Well, you? well, you know, for, what'd you say? When will the, the documentary air? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm about to say it. I'm talking about myself in high school. Oh, I'm I can't serious. have some glory days? Sure you could have glory days. Well, then shut up. Should I call Bruce Springsteen? Glory days? She wrote. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how deafening the silence can be after a shit joke. <laughs> I'm gonna let you hang. Maybe Artie could use a, you know, maybe Artie's a little short. I'm sorry. Maybe Artie is, uh, you know, not have money this weekend. Artie's on a new HBO series. Oh, serious? What are you? Serious. You talk like serious. a Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay, he's gonna be. A series, 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 series regular on an HBO show that he's starring in. What the fuck? It's like Pippi Longstocking. What the fuck? It's like Pippi Longstocking doing my promo. That's what you sound like. When your balls drop, call me. <laughs> You're right, I'm on an HBO show. And by the way, your jealousy fucking shines through there. I am not jealous oh, of your HBO I, he, he goes, show. I goes, where are you today? I go, I'm on the HBO show. He goes, Gee, I wish I could do that. <laughs> well, that's the truth. Are you a f what, what, how is that supposed to make me feel? I'm memorizing lines. I'm about to go into a fucking uh, scene with Gina Gershon. I know what t intense pressure that is as an actor who didn't study at Northwestern, like Dan. Dan. <laughs> and then you go, gee, I wish I could be at the HBO show. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm selling Zag Nuts to the guy who runs the, the fucking Scrambler at Coney Island. But I'm, I'm not on an HBO show like you. And then you don't even give me credit for being talented. You're like, well, I guess if you're fat, you get parts. I guess if you're a big fat guy, you could get parts. Because you're a big fat guy. I'm normal. I'm good looking with nice bone structure. I do a nice bone structure. Uh, I mean, you're not supposed to talk during <laughs> this. It's still talking points. But you do, actually. I, uh, I'm not a big fat guy like you. Uh, you're fat. That's why oh, Fatty Arbuckle got, got, got parts, too. Well, you could lose a few pounds. I could lose a few people wow. on the podcast. <laughs> wow. And guess what? You're one of them. The fucking three goombas who dropped the shovels in Sicily around 1868 and said, you know what, fuck this. We're not working. We're going to organize crime. We all do crime. Let's organize it. The first rule when they dropped the shovel, the first fucking thing they said to each other is, listen, all agree. We don't tell broads nothing. And that was organized near my town. I don't give a flying fat frog's <laughs> ass. That's got nothing to do with the story. It doesn't move it along at I'm all. I'm from Sicily. What I don't give a shit. Go back. Go back. Yeah, go back. Go with back. a Jew under each arm. That's a Joel joke. Go Joel. back Old Joel. where? No, to Sicily. <laughs> do you know what we used to say about <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres and her dancing? <laughs> Let me tell you something about Ellen DeGeneres. If she wasn't gay, she'd be selling hummels <laughs> at a gift shop in Indiana. <laughs> she was a average, average comedian. <laughs> average comedian. David Johnny Spade, Carson David liked her. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. My, my psychiatrist says count to ten. I'm going to do that. One. Two. That's what Jackie Gleason did on the honeymoon, but it didn't work. One. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Five. five.
five. One. Six. One. Two. Two. One. Three. One. Four. Two. One. Eight. One. Seven. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Ten. One. Twelve. <laughs> I'm going to start to cry. Oh. Now I'm crying. Are you happy I'm crying? No, I'm looking for a pizza. Where the fuck do I get up? Get up, okay? Get up, okay? Go to the fu- go downstairs. Get up. I want you to wait in line at DeVry University. <laughs> I want you to uh, apply for uh, DeVry University. I want you to go there for two years. I want you to get a skill. I want you to get a computer skill. After that, I want you to get a job in computers. I want you to apply for a job in computers. So okay. When you get a job, off. when you get a job in computers, I want you to get your first paycheck. When you get your first paycheck, open a bank account. When you get a bank account, go to the bank on Monday. To, uh, take out eighteen dollars. Go to Uptown Pizza and buy a fucking pizza. So you wouldn't be an extra on a show? Are you nuts? You're an extra right now. We cut you out. (laughs) We're doing this for affirmative action. From a what? They said we have to have a a dickhead on the show. (laughs) Can I plug my book signing? Oh, you just, you did before. Okay, do it. Come on. July 21st, 6 to 9 p.m., (laughs) Barnes & Nobles, 849. Nobles! For the 8,000th fucking time, it's noble. It's noble. For Christ's sakes, could you act like a human being for five seconds? For five seconds, could you act like a human being? Okay, Barnes and Nobles. Right. No, you said it again. You said it again. You have a fucking pituitary problem. I do. Barnes and Noble. People are so mad that a scumbag like me is successful. <laughs> they can't explain it. They can't explain it. I have zero training. Zero training in any of this pussy bullshit. We call acting. I had to go to Northwestern. I wasn't at the Grammy. <laughs> I wasn't at Second City TV. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Uh, you know, study improv at UCB. Yes, yeah, bright You got up all morning. Fuck you. And you did it. I'm talking to you. <laughs> no, they can't take it. They can't take it. Sure, I'm a junkie, but whatever. <laughs> There's negatives and everything. I didn't study with Meisner. The method. No. No. I just get up, and it comes out. <laughs> I get out, and I get out, and I just roll, baby. Which I way roll. does it come? I roll. Out of your wrist, out of your mouth. Mary, let me tell you something. I want you to shut this microphone <laughs> off. Mary, so go, lay down on the floor, face first. Lay down on the floor. I want you to do that. Are you going to make you leave? <laughs> lay down on the floor with your face on the floor. You want me to or, lay? Or leave? You have a choice. Do you want to okay. leave? And then I'll leave. Okay, bye. Thank you. Twelve minute Uber. <laughs> I want you to lay down on the floor until I finish talking. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Your face in that pillow. Or leave. You're not serious, are I'm you? very serious. He's serious. Unless I, you, I, I know uh, that unless you, uh, The other choice is shut the fuck up. <laughs> you make a noise when I'm talking. I'm, I'm, I'm going to point to you like this. Then you can start talking. If you do it again with your jumping bullshit, you don't jump. You got no condition. You're a fag. You want attention. Someone wasn't looking at you for longer than three fucking seconds. <laughs> I'm not your mother. I will put you in the blender. <laughs> Choices, if you talk again. Face first on that pillow, and we check you for air every once in a while. Daddy will be doing this. You shut the fuck up, or you leave. I'll waste, I'll waste another $200. Send you back to fucking Bensoner. Are we clear on the choices? Yes. Okay, that's the last time you could talk. We are just not doing well with the listeners. Nope. No. <laughs> not at all. And you know what? There's a pit. They pin. I asked the research company. Uh. They pinpointed a time when we started to go down. <laughs> when I joined the show. I said no. They said you started saying something that <laughs> aggravates people, <laughs> and it's that's Mario Bosco. <laughs> that sentence. Well, I told. Followed by this. I have my book. My my headsets don't work. <laughs> I told him That's your catchphrase. Themselves. That's your catchphrase. <laughs> your catchphrase is, here's Mary Bosco. My headsets don't work. I'm a, I have a fucking pussy. I'm not a pussy. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. What do you mean you're not a pussy? You're shaking like I'm fucking shaking. Callista oh. Flockhart at a Bears game. I got low blood sugar, bro. I have low blood oh, sugar. Oh, and I got high blood sugar. Shut the, the fuck up. I can stand laughing at I have low blood sugar. Uh, I'm laughing at it because it sounds funny. But it's not funny. I love that you have a disease. <laughs> it's the best thing about you. <laughs> fucking best.
<laughs> Look at Hillary Clinton. How could she follow her husband? <laughs> she looks like a chipmunk. Why did she fucking? T- why did he? T- what, did, what does she look like? <laughs> she looks like a chipmunk with that face up and down, up and down. I could see it on a clock, up and down, up and down. My God. <laughs> wow. Is that your act? <laughs> no. Uh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Johnny Carson. Uh, the new comedian Mario Bosco is uh, going to do his Hillary Clinton bit. And here it is. I'll put that, I'll put that, shut my I'll put that, thank you. <laughs> Listen to him, bitch. You're like good at, you've perfected bitching. Your thoughts? My thoughts? I my don't, thoughts? I don't <laughs> Who are you, fucking Joe Pesci or my cousin Eddie? Your thoughts? <laughs> He's mini Mike Boschetti. He really is. <laughs> I'm not mini nobody. I'm Mario Bosco from Bensonhurst. Oh, well. <laughs> shut up. Mario Bosco oh, from Bensonhurst. Yeah. You know, I look myself... You know what you're never going to say? I'm Mario Bosco from Hollywood. Do you think Ryan Phillippe it, 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 it took t- took his face out of fucking some 19-year-old millennial fucking wannabe actress's twat long enough to say, I work with Mario Bosco? No. <laughs> no, no. His face is probably buried in the pussy of some 20-year-old actress. You're with me. <laughs> and quite frankly, I'm with you! <laughs> and we're with each other. <laughs> All right, call, call, I want you. I, I'm not kidding now. I want you to call me an Uber. I want you to call. Uh, you know, no, call me an ambulance. <laughs> I want you to call me an Uber ambulance. Get the hell A two at one. Uh, what? What did you even say? What did you even say? A two at one. What a ambulance waste of breath. A... What a waste of air. Well, I just heard that. That was a waste of my hearing. God forbid you should say something like uh, something here on the Algonquin Round Table. Who's this guy, Martin Scorsese? What are you talking about? On TV. What, what is that? What, what are you? What are you talking about? The guy on TV. Why did you just say who was that? Martin Scorsese. Why? Does it look like him on this? You end? think that guy looks like Martin Scorsese? <laughs> you have to leave now. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you off the balcony. I, I'll do the time. <laughs> uh, I want You know what I want to do? I want to sell you to the police department. I want them to strap a bomb to you <laughs> the next time a terrorist. I want you to be a robot. <laughs> the other thing is, you also, as a human being, you're gonna have a tendency. To defend your own kind. I found myself over the years defending mafia people. They're animals. What am I doing? Mike Machetti still does it. <laughs> but quite frankly, that's because Mike Machetti might be legally retarded. <laughs> he claims he's sick again. Yeah. Bronchitis. Yeah. It's yeah. back. He got well enough to do the Bob Roberts show. It's back. Sam Roberts show. Mary, you realize everything you're saying is remotely funny. Do you think what you're saying is entertaining or funny? <laughs> entertaining. It's not Mike Machetti's got not his... even. It's not even close. It's not even close. You're annoying me. The direct opposite of what you're trying to do is happening. <laughs> I mean, don't you trust me? Would, would you take? Can I take you under my wing? <laughs> you know, I got the job on Howard. I knew when to shut the fuck up. That's right. Do you know how long I would have lasted, Mario? <laughs> if if Mike if Howard was telling a story the first week I was there and I went, he's back. <laughs> He would have said, Robin, we're going to go to an early commercial. He would have said that. And he would have left the room, whispered something to Gary, and the security would walk me out. <laughs> I never would have seen Howard again. If in the middle of a sentence, him talking, I yelled, he's back. <laughs> For what I can see, is no apparent reason. Then why is he not here tonight? See what us? you just said? Why is not Mike Buschetti tonight sitting across from me? Uh, why are you changing the subject? <laughs> Why are you sitting across from me? Because you invited me. I know. What an idiot. I'm so compassionate. No, you're entertaining. You're, you're, you're a very good, you're a performer. I love you. But just, not now. Shut up. If I yelled out he's back during the Howard story, he would have quietly went to commercial, quietly got up, not looked at me, whispered something to Gary. Two minutes later, security would have taken me out of the building. Without, I couldn't have time to get my coat. And they'll send it, they, they would have, I would, it would have been a UPS. Okay, so it says here Peter Dinklage grew up very long. D- <laughs> it's Dinklage. Dinklage, Dingle, Dinklage, same no, shit. Dingleberry. How long is the talk? Two. Forty-five. Dingle, Dinklage is in. Is I, in I gave him facts about Peter Dinklage. He's a German, English, and Irish descent. And it's related to the German West Pauline noble family von Diglinge. (laughs) 
When he was a kid, he and his brother would put on puppet musicals <laughs> for the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Hello. They did perfect. Wait a minute. What, what was that voice? You know, a puppet. Hello. Are you doing a, that was an impression of a puppet? Of a puppet. You know, like, you know. Okay, this is the only time that I think a quarter day is too much money. <laughs> this is the first time I, I think w- you have a legitimate bitch. <laughs> Do the puppet again. Hello. It's a puppet. Uh, what the fuck you want the puppet to say? Hello, hi, how well, what are made you? you? Just, what, in your, what made you decide to do a voice for the puppet? Well, it said that Peter Dingle. This is awful, but I have to use the real word because it's the only way it's funny. Do you know? Uh, the, uh, Mario, shut up. I'm about to tell a story. He hears me and he goes, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, a, a letter got sent to Mario. Okay, uh, shut up. The pillow's coming and I'm going to put it in your fucking face. <laughs> I want to fucking see the life slowly go out of your eyes. <laughs> okay. I want to suffocate you. I have dreams of it. <laughs> you start to talk or tell Dan you have the jumps. And I come over and I put a plastic bag over your head. No! And then I Don't slowly, I choke you and I slowly see the life go out of your eyes. Can I do my Rubik's Cube joke? Go ahead. So my sister calls me the other night. We're this out of time. <laughs> come on, seriously. She goes, hey, bro, who I haven't heard in weeks. She goes, uh, can I borrow a couple of Rubik's Cubes? I go, what? She goes, I need to buy a couple of Rubik's Cubes. First of all, stop. What? The premise is you have a couple of Rubik's Cubes? Yeah. I don't Why know. would she want to borrow a couple of Rubik's Cubes? Because they're doing an Is she 80- fucking two nerds? She's got to do an 80s project that works. Is the Irish guy a nerd? <laughs> well, set it up like that. What do we know about it? Say, you know. Go right ahead. Okay, so I said to her, yeah, sure. Hold on. I'll call that friend. He'll gear up the <laughs> and together we'll go back to the 80s. I got a second. <coughs> Say it again. <laughs> and together we'll go back to the 80s. Not the, f- the whole thing. Um, so I, my sister calls me the other night. Did I get everything? <laughs> oh. oh, bro, you're disgusting. Did I bro. get everything? Get it. Say the, say the Ruby Scooter. So my sister calls me yeah, up the right, other night, right? And she says, "Hey, bro, how are you? Who I haven't heard Your in sister, weeks." Sister, where what? Chris Rock, you hear Chris Rock's bit? There's a difference. It. There's black people. There's niggas. I love black people. I hate niggas. You know that? You know that routine? Cause you're you're one. Cause you're just a mooch. <laughs> Why am I? The Obamas aren't mooches. They're classy people. You're a mooch. I'm not a mooch. Do you know Chris Rock's routine? That's what he says. That's the whole bit. Yeah. I like Chris Rock. Actually, what he says in that thing is, is really extraordinary. I mean, if a black guy, a white guy p- repeating that. <laughs> Maybe that should be our Mario's act. His act is literally like, to try this. Or the, try, okay, you ready? Try this. This is your act. Do, a, do Chris Rock's act. You ready? You want to hide money from a nigga, put it in the book. You know why niggas don't read? <laughs> That's literally a joke he does. Say it. Say it, man. Can you do that one? Say it. <laughs> Repeat it, please. Okay, you ready? I'll do it as a white guy. If you want to hide money from a nigger, put, put it in a in book. book. You know why niggers don't read? Niggers don't read. Okay. Good. If you want to put the money in a... What? If you want to put the money... No, no. Start again. If you want to hide money... If you want to hide money, put it in the book. Wait, wait, no, niggers no. don't wanna read. Hide, you want to hide <laughs> money from what? From niggers. Okay. Because they don't Say it read. Again. Say it again. Say the whole thing. <laughs> If you want to hide money from a nigger, put it in the book because they don't read. Not they. Two niggers say it. Two niggers don't read. No, no, no. Say it both times with a joke, <laughs> you fuck. That's what Rock does. Go ahead. If you want to hide money, put it in the book. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> if you want to hide money from what? A nigger. Okay, th- th- put it in the book because why? Because they don't read. Not they. They can tell you twice, dickhead. <laughs> he don't read. <laughs> Are you this dumb? Say it again. If you want to hide mo- money, put it in a book. Well, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable how stupid you are. <laughs> if you want to hide money from a nigger, put it in a book because niggers don't read. Okay. Say that. If you want to hide money from a nigger, put it in a book because the nigger don't read. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Dan, isolate. I, again, I had a run going. I, I fucking... I'm sorry. What a comedy killer. I had a run go. You know, cop killers, you're a comedy killer. You were coming at me with a bad joke. I should have shot you.
I looked up. I was I, I, I was armed with a good joke. And Mario comes at me with a bad joke. And I should have said the good joke. Instead, I ignored him. And he got to me. He got to me with the bad joke. And he killed me. He killed the comedy. You dick. Why don't you write a song called Comedy Killer? See if I steal record it. If two people went to a job interview and one person had a degree in marketing at Montclair State University, the other guy had a piece of that cardboard that he just ate and he saved it and it had some Twinkie on it, they would both be starting off even. Yeah, but the, but the, but the, but the Twinkie box only cost 99 cents. <laughs> it's right. it's Twinkie box and it, and it tastes way better. I should have done 99. <laughs> At least, at least you had a dollar ninety nine. In one scenario, you're not broke, and at least you had a Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> and you can ride that sugar rush for a both, little while. Right, but the guy who's hiring you will go, okay, with 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 education, you are both even right now. <laughs> <laughs> he could have his cake and eat it too. Oh, that might be the worst thing I can. <laughs> if, you, if you tell me oh, what's the worst thing someone could say after that bit. Have your cake I'd and say, eat it too. I'd say that, it that, that's the worst thing. He's taking the cardboard from the Twinkie, so he's eating the cake and he's got some left over. He's going to go get Mario, a job with M- it. Mario, I wasn't asking you to explain the joke. <laughs> Believe it or not, I got the joke. <laughs> a retard could have gotten the joke. Well, that's The different. dumbest retard Speak in his class. Speak for yourself. I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> if you went to a retarded high school, the last ranking kid I'd probably would have got the in. joke. You know, the, the slowest kid of the Special Olympics would have gotten the joke. <laughs> oh, God. I still don't get the joke. <laughs> what do you mean you don't get the joke? I don't get the joke. No, he, 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 it didn't make any sense. Yes. Explain it again, how that joke... Uh, uh, he talked about the guy from Twinkie has the little cardboard, yeah, correct? Right, exactly. So the guy, they would all start off, the guy with the degree and the guy with the cardboard. So I says, you could have your cake and eat it too. You know, you get to have a job and you eat the Dan, cup. Google, I want you to Google something. I wish I could go back in time and Google, still not get the joke. Dan, Google most annoying sound. You could have the... Google most annoying the sound Twinkie. in the world. I want you to Google and most annoying sound in the world. Mario, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. I, I, Google most annoying sound in the world. Whatever it is, I want you to play over Mario. <laughs> <laughs> For this entire podcast. Because I'm going to talk to you about a Stern Show audience. Vinny knows what a Stern Show audience is. Vinny had to use all his powers in Miami to get out of a Stern Show audience. Yes. Crowd. yes. So wh- what are you going to do, Mario? Are you com- coming out in an outfit? I can't wait. Well, <laughs> he was thinking about doing Jolly Green Joint and Don't Sprout. Don't give it all away. Well, what, what were you going to do? Go ahead. And I was going to be Sprout, but he wouldn't dress as Jolly Green Joe, so when I come out... Okay, I'm so he, here's, here's four seconds into you walking out in that outfit. <laughs> hey, Sprout, you're fat! <laughs> now, what do you do? But I'm not fat, I'm skinny. You're a fag. Oh, fag, I couldn't understand the Jersey accent. Fag! I don't know, well, he... Die! 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 die. Fuck, fuck you, you die! Fag! Die! Fag! Die! Arty! 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 You suck! Fag! You suck! Get off the stage! Fag! Let Allah talk! Let Allah talk! Let Allah talk! Die! (laughs) Okay, go ahead. (laughs) What's your comeback for? No, I don't. It has to be. Die! (laughs) Fag! Die! Allah talk! Arty! Allah talk! Arty! No. You're like Allah, we hate you. What do you do? Where are you? Who are you? Fuck oh off. Oh my god. So I'd have to fuck off. Fuck then. off, die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's gonna, that's gonna be great. Ex- but this kid, uh, David, he looks exactly like a ventriloquist dummy. Oh. I mean, he was able to do this shit, like physical shit. Right. Uh, so anyway, uh, but I don't know. Maybe go down that road. I don't but know. can let's hear your dummy uh, character. Wow. I said, hear it, idiot. <laughs> we're, on, we're on the radio. We're on the radio. He goes, I go, let's hear it. And he goes, he's twisting his head. Do you have any instinct at all? Hello. That's terrible. How are you? Go back to, wait, to, go back to no. So, so Mario, uh, what's your name? Bosco. Bosco. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Matteris, Adrian Iapucci. It's all Italian. Nice. We did it. Uh, about, hey, hey, jerk off. What about Dan Filato? He's Italian. Well, he's from Chicago. That's One. It. Two, three, four, five, okay. six, seven. <laughs> you have any more updates on the uh, on uh, how you invented Crocs? No, the crack story is over. We put it away. So now I heard you had an Olympic update. Well, USA is winning by twenty-two medals, and I just received this says that police sets to investigate shooting on media bus traveling between venues at the Olympics game. 
bus was traveling between the Rodian Zone and the main transport mall. Twelve people were on board when the bullets were launched at the bus. Minor injuries sustained. Mary, 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 can I say something? <laughs> did you go to grammar school? I think he's in grammar school right you now. Know, well, yeah, but did you go to school? To, did he's you in to grammar read? school. <laughs> did you learn how to read? Yeah, read him right now. Yeah, but you read like a... <laughs> You're Look not, how big that font is. You're not retarded, oh. right? Half. No. That would, you, 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 you're, Half. You're, 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 you're an intelligent person. You, why are you reading like you're in the first grade? What did I say? Police says to investigate shooting on well, a... Now you're reading faster. Before you're reading like a, you know... Media bus traveling between venues at the Olympic Games. Bus was traveling between the deodorant zone and... Uh, this is the worst thing ever. It's the worst thing ever. Stop, stop talking. They are the two whitest people. I, the, the pictures of them in the 70s, Bill and Hillary Clinton, they are... They are they're like clear they're not even white they're, they're too white like if they were at a clan meeting you wouldn't see them the sheets they'd blend in <laughs> all you'd see were her glasses those chubby cheeks oh my god oh my god what an awkward couple i mean the hillary and the father of chelsea <laughs> <laughs> they were an awkward yeah, couple yeah but trump doesn't look any better let's edit that out <laughs> well how'd you write four chapters i just sat on the bed start typing out yeah, and then what? I used to typewriter like Woody Allen does. <laughs> I'm gonna forget I heard that. <laughs> Woody Allen that. types all the time. So you, I know, I know, but you don't. <laughs> you compare yourself to Woody Allen? You sound ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna meet with him next week. Yeah, right. How, does he know that? Does his security know that? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a thing with little boys. Is, and he, girls. Co- is, he, <laughs> is he coming to the book signing? No, I'm going to meet him at Coney Island. He's going to be filming at Dino's. i got to hit him up for a role. Why don't you make your forehead bigger? Maybe we'll marry him. <laughs> I see. That's not oh, called a meeting. That's where's, a yeah, I was going to say, exactly. It's yeah. not a meeting. That's called stalking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to say, hey, Mr. Allen, do you remember me? I worked with you a long time ago in a commercial. And then you're going to get handcuffed. And in a movie day. What handcuff? You're not, you're not going to get anywhere near him. If he sees you, <laughs> he'll start to like like cry, an erotic <laughs> mess that he is. He'll point to an enormous enormous black gentleman who will throw you in the ocean. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Why do you think he's going to acknowledge you? Because he will. He's very nice. No, he's not like me. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> he's going to say, I- I'm scared of you. I want you out. I want you to die. Right, Matt? You don't shit where you eat, right? No. And you can't in Coney Island. No, we're Italian. We don't shit where we eat. Yeah. Well, yeah. I still hope you don't shit at all. <laughs> <laughs> I tried uh, to get on his show for a long time, that fucking bastard. Who, what show? <laughs> <laughs> Andy and Opie, Opie, Opie. Now you really know how to sh- schmooze a guy. <laughs> what show? What are you talking about? I asked Mike, uh, Mike Buschetti, get me on. He goes, what show? Mike, uh, 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 what's his name? Opie. How did they come up? How did you just ask that question? What, 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 what did I say that made you think of that? Opie, you said Opie. I don't understand. What did I say? He said, he said Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly. I would go from below Ellie to Opie. Mary, I'm gonna ask you to leave. <laughs> First of all, you're chewing like a fucking sheep. I know. It sounds like a fucking cow grazing. <laughs> it sounds like an insanely boring cow. I'm having good and plenty. Then it's like I try to get him so. You sound like Donald Duck. I try to get him so. <laughs> I so. <laughs> you're being disgusting. Shut his mic. I'm through with you. Send Mary one. <laughs> so the joke is Oh my god <laughs> Thank you Thank you everybody Wow It's good to be here in New York Boo. My hometown Who the fuck are you? I love you guys We so hate you I know what you're all thinking about Get out of here What's going on with me With no. this guy We've never thought Come of you Come on stop. You got Rolling Rock here? <laughs> I'm doing what they would do I'm gonna address it right away Go back to your address Sally, I was born with a very rare disorder Wow, this is it's great rare. <laughs> Unfunnyism? It's a rare condition It's a rare condition Hold on Yeah? Oh, Jesus Rarer It's than actually the not funny It's a very It's a very serious condition Is your name leukemia? <laughs> Look at I'm gonna look at the crowd sadly, and then wait. They're gonna look at you sadly. <laughs> I have a very girthy penis. Yeah. Okay. And they're gonna go. Whoa. They're gonna go. Uh, stand Whoa. still. I want to throw a gin and tonic at your head. <laughs> I'm, I mean, if that joke didn't work, I would. The, the, that first of all, it's not a joke. Secondly, it's it, it's gonna get it's gonna get me fired. <laughs> You're not gonna. I've get worked at Caroline's for 20 years. Caroline's gonna go. I'd like you never to come back. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. 
you would never get fired. And one one miserly joke, okay? It's and not then, a joke. And then bring girthy in- penis. What does that mean? You're born with a, dis- a girthy penis? What is that? What is that? That's the disease. It comes from the movie um, um, Sausage Party. That stolen material? <laughs> oh, man, you stole that. What no, I didn't. Dick. I you didn't, blow I, guys and you steal jokes. I stole the concept. I didn't steal the joke. What concept? Being unfunny? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're making no okay, sense. Okay, let me ask you. A person comes out for, for 30 what's seconds. It, what's Sausage Party? What is that? What is that? It's a movie that Seth Rogen did, right? Seth, Seth. Rogen? <laughs> Seth Rogen? You've mispronounced everybody you've tried to talk about. Show me. Oh, God. Seth Rogen's in a funny movie? That is no. <laughs> what's his name? I love Seth. Seth Rogen, dick <laughs> uh, Here's something. You ready? Oh, God. Here's something you'll never Stop hear. Stop with the... This is driving me crazy. Get, just just get, take it away from him as if he's a fucking infant. <laughs> you don't hear that? You don't hear when you're doing that? He doesn't you're... hear, he doesn't see, he doesn't write. He doesn't drive. He fucking spends money. Okay, ready? Yeah. There's something you'll never hear here. Okay, ever. You'll never hear this ever from me or anybody. Uh, you ready? What did he say, Jimmy Kimmel? <laughs> Yeah, read that. Get up right now and read it. I'm not even, you get all the way over here. All the way over to the fucking table. Take it back and read it in the microphone. Take it back. This is something you'll never hear anywhere. Jimmy Kimmel is not on the phone. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel is on the phone. <laughs> he blew it. Jimmy Kimmel's on the phone. <laughs> well, whose phone is he on? Jennifer Anderson? It's like talking to a fucking... It's as if a, an animal wants to do comedy. I don't, I want people to... I don't want people to help me in that sense. But I want people to help me. Teach you how to do an outline. Right, because... Help you how? I don't... Did you hear what you just said? I don't want people to help me, but I want people to do help Do I want me. people to pull out the magic globe and, and, and go, your career will be made tomorrow morning? If no. they do that, it's creepy. <laughs> No, but I want The magic some. globe is probably a car. No, but I want... Could you pull out your magic globe, Mr. Watson? <laughs> and make me funny? <laughs> I want to show you the magic globe. I'll show you the magic globe for a Snickers. <laughs> you don't even know, man. You don't know. We're your friends. I know, bro, but I don't like the abuse. Bro. Yeah, well, then you can't be in this fucking business, yeah, douche. You really can't be a comic, then. <laughs> It's called honesty. That's what you got to go through. You think you think people told me I look like a young Robert Redford? My life? A young who? Oh, jeez. You ever hear Robert Redford? <laughs> yes. Well, okay, I'm not going to explain the joke. He's good looking, right? Hello? <laughs> I'm trying to find another good one. Oh, yeah, that's going to take forever. Get off the Windsor. They'll find Jimmy Hoffa first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, wait, 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 did you find Jimmy Hoffa? No, it's another good Mario Bosco. Yeah, here's a good one. <laughs> Speaking of politics, Donald Trump. Wait a minute, who was talking of politics? Who was talking about politics? You can't say speaking of politics and no one's talking about it. The joke. <laughs> the joke. Who was talking about it? In other words, you say speaking of politics. You no one was asked speaking. me to read a joke. Right, Dicklick. But you, 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 the joke is speaking of politics? Say, hey, how about those politics? <laughs> Why would you say no one is talking about politics? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? He doesn't get what I'm saying. Just because Vinnie Monroy typed it, you don't have to say it. I'm sorry, go right ahead. This is Joe Matarese's comic club. This is Professor Matarese's this good. It's tough love. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Speaking of politics, it's unbelievable. Donald it's Trump unbelievable. He doesn't know, he doesn't know what we're talking about. be the next president. Yeah, okay. Can you fucking believe that? No. <laughs> he gets a lot of people really mad. Uh-huh. But so does Hillary. It's crazy. <laughs> he wait wrote minute. this. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, here's what's appropriate. If I said right now, speaking of shit jokes... <laughs> I'm done. No, you gotta oh, hear the no. ending. You gotta hear the ending, please. I'm Mario, do you, reali- do you realize why that's horrid what you're do doing? Do not leave the audience hanging. We have to hear the end of that joke. <laughs> we have to hear the end of that joke. We were almost asleep. 
I'm you should done. change your name to Ambit. Yeah, let's hear it. Is Vaseline your favorite Katy Perry song? <laughs> <laughs> the lame. Better get to Mako. What, what is that? A fucking Fiat? <laughs> Better get to Mako. Do you have anybody? Uh, do you have anybody stopping a Denali? <laughs> Better get to Mako. Oh, we, we Double A M C O. Just keep saying it louder. <laughs> Did you think you weren't laughing because we didn't hear you? <laughs> they must not have heard me. That's the funniest thing ever. Better get to Mako. No laughs. Better get to Mako. Wait a minute. Is my mic on? Better get to Mako. No laughs still. Man. Better get to Mako. Do they speak English? <laughs> Do you speak English? <laughs> Better get to Mako. Should I put it in Braille maybe? Okay. So start up. <laughs> okay. Here Here's the analogy. You're on stage, right? You're on stage at the, at the Apollo. Yeah. Let's just pick a place, the Apollo. All right. <laughs> this settles the argument on what what is God, what is God, you know, here's the old argument, guys. What does God like better, black or white? White or black? It does. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. What about stenographer? God. You can do that. Better. If stuttering John will be giving a summation. White or black. <laughs> Can't believe it. What I'm color is come? <laughs> color. Color. Color with a K. Color. K with a C H. And what color is shit? What color <laughs> is shit? And the next line is God sucks dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me pray to Jesus Christ. Jesus, I pray that Mary gets poor AIDS. Mother. I when pray the matter gets the AIDS virus, <laughs> and not just the HIV, the full-blown AIDS virus. When Tomorrow, I'd like him to find a sore. Now, here's, I, God, much like Rock Hudson when you killed him, <laughs> I want Mario to wake up and notice a zit that won't heal, <laughs> like Mario, uh, like a Rock Hudson. And then he goes to the doctor, takes some blood work, and he has full-blown AIDS. Thank you. That's a very nice thing to wish upon. And that zit was called Jim Nader. <laughs> <laughs> and amen. Go ahead. Well, God, <laughs> you got us there. You were getting blown, Dr. Phil. <laughs> My enormous head, your girlfriend of five years, Vinnie Monroe, I wrote you jokes. Okay, get ready. You ready? I'm okay. The next line is not God sucks dick, right? Of course I don't. Uh, all right, what color shit, what colors come? Okay. One is white. One is, one br means life. The what bringing of life and joy. Is white. <laughs> And it means the bringing of life, joy. It means the bringing of life, joy, of life, life, joy, life, joy, 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 joy. Yeah. You want to celebrate it. You want to celebrate it. Celebrate. Right? Yeah. The other one. The other one. Stinks so bad you want to. Get it out of your house as soon as possible. <laughs> I don't want to, you wanna One stinks so bad, and, and it's so disgusting. It Man invented a machine <laughs> that gets it out of your house. One stinks so bad that the Irish's invention, the chamber pot, wasn't going <laughs> to. <laughs> Wait, let's start over. So, <laughs> let's start over. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Let's hear it. No, let's go ahead. Well, that's not it, is it? Well, oh. that, that's technically it. Okay. Go ahead. Where's the rest? That's it. So Say it. St yeah, read it. Wait, I'll bring you on. <laughs> Yo, it's Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up, Apollo, for your next act. <laughs> A lot of people say the Italians are against us, but that's not true. <laughs> in light of all the shootings <laughs> in, <laughs> in Ferguson... <laughs> Charlotte, we're bringing up a white man that actually gets off struggle. If I can be serious for one second. If I can be serious for my fucking one second. This next guy's freakish looking. But he's got a girthy dick. <laughs> According to my other white friend, Vinny Monroy. Give it up. I ain't going to try to be funny because this guy's going to be funny as hell. I got to mend the race relations right now. Mario Bosco. <laughs> What's up, Apollo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of politics. What does God like better, white or black? What color cum is shit? <laughs> 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 
Party Critter Podcast. You would have said, Dad, sit down. I got something to say. We're gonna Boy, do not repeat that down. line to people. The w- when it's filtered through Mount Boredom <laughs> oh, and erupts. Dad, do we have Mount Boredom, by the way, there? Yes. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, but wait, I'll explain. Wait a minute. Oh, there's the Hank's son who's not a heroin addict. That's Colin, right? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, Tom Hanks, the one, you see, the one that Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks has a couple of sons. And Artie Quitter Podcast, by the way, Mario Bosco. What's is up? Here. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> did you, did you practice like a cool, what was that, like a hip hop? Like you just went, what's up? Did you practice that? Yeah. Did someone what's coach? What's up? Okay. Is that how you're going to, when I say Mario Bosco's here, is that how you're going to say, like, because you usually just go, hey, I don't know, my mic don't work. <laughs> no, today my mic works fine. So let's hear what's up. Let's hear it. What's up? Oh my God, how terrible. Uh, so uh, so let, let, I want to go, hey, uh, Dan's here. What's up, buddy? And uh, Mario Bosco's here. What's up? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the Benson Hurst. I'll tell you what's down is you're curating. You know what that is, a curating? It's how likable you are. Oh, I thought you were talking about my cura- curating. Your what? The curic. The yeah. coffee pot curating. <laughs> Blow, let my Mount Boredom has to erupt. <laughs> 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 what the I'm Mount Boredom. Oh, the lava is filled with Mario Bosco <laughs> anecdotes. Wait, wait, don't shut up. That's the end. The perfect. Great job. All right, let me explain what it is. So whenever Mario speaks, it really is like a, I originally said it was like a spigot of dullness. <laughs> Jerry Chase goes, how do I get back on the freeway? The guy goes, fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry Chase goes, thank you. <laughs> and the way the guy delivers the fuck your mother line, oh my God. That was his arrow in his quiver. <laughs> fuck your mother. That must have been his 15 minutes of fame. Fuck. <laughs> At any time it can erupt. Oh, it's so dangerous. And it doesn't have to be a long speech. It could be like a, like a few words. I did Bullet Studio 54 the hard way. Yeah, but you did you have any lines? NYPD Don't Blue. point at me. Did you have any lines? Yes, I had lines. <laughs> no, you didn't. I had more lines than you did in your life. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Explain the logic behind that ridiculous statement. Coke lines. Oh, Coke lines. So that's wrong, though. I've done way more Coke lines. Though. So I've done more actual acting lines than Coke, meaning your joke on on every level is wrong. There's not well, one actually, aspect of that joke that makes any sense. I have a joke. Go ahead. So this guy graduates from uh, rehabilitation because he was in rehab. And he finally comes home. Oh, this is a rough one. No, actually, we're going to get the kids out of the way. Let me finish my joke. Well, no, it's, it's what's happening. Oh, my God, it's violent. <laughs> Animals are running. <laughs> Mount Boredom is erupting. Okay, so he comes home from rehab, right? <laughs> Sometimes you think it's done, and it goes. It's Come on. Aftershock. I second that eruption. <laughs> Whoa! It's violent. <laughs> it actually, see, it, it, sometimes it's just a story, it, but on, there's a joke a in good, this one. This one's a good joke that I wrote. I guarantee you, Mario, there's nothing even close to as funny as Matt Portman. <laughs> oh, the humanity! All right, calm down. I guess, you know what? It's calming down. Good. Right. <laughs> so this guy comes home <laughs> from. Rehab. Look at him. Look at him. He's giving. Look at. Look at him. You're missing him giving. 
Don't hit the button. Yeah, no, so no, about yeah, five yeah. weeks later, his wife makes an emergency call to the doctor. He says, doctor, doctor, my husband, he's back to the old ways. He's back to the old situation. Doctor goes, well, at least. Stop boarding him. What are you running from? Stop boarding him. Ah, ah. Oh, my God. Is he telling a joke? Yeah. Oh. She so says, Doctor, my husband is drinking more now than he ever did before. He goes, Well, at least he's staying hydrated. Uh, oh my god, was it the hydrated joke? Yeah, this happened one other time. You can say anything. I don't care. He said you have more chins than a Chinese phone book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's probably as close and vivid as the fucking. That's what he said. Uh, that's Mario, what he can said. turn your phone off. At, oh. Mario, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Is it, does it time to say something boring? <laughs> no, my phone went off. It's my friend Margaret, and I'm telling her I'm not. Margaret, not boring. Guys don't know. That's Mount Boredom. <laughs> Mario can be so boring sometimes, he's like a volcano. They call it Mount Boredom, the Hawaiian people. <laughs> the Hawaiian the Hawaiian people the Hawaiian people tell a tell a story of a legend of a man. He was four for two. And sometimes sometimes they, they uh, he's considered a superhero. He is a superhero to me. Mike, I need you to shut up. Okay, sorry. Uh so so uh so the, the the people their their women could not get to sleep at night because of pregnancy pains, and they said if only someone could tell boring stories, they could get to sleep. And then they tell a legend of a white man, well, sort of white, southern Italian, and uh, another white people. Okay, okay. Can I ask Mike a question? Well, could you both shut up? And then uh, this is the funny part of the show. We need you. We need you guys to be quiet. So uh, so okay. Supposedly this white this is about the year fourteen eighty. Out of nowhere, a really rude asswipe kid <laughs> came around ordering people around, and then sit, said, "Sit down. I got a story about my friend in Benson who, who, just, who just texted me." He starts to tell a story about how he can't get into the show business, and they don't change the oil at the Saint Genevieve's feast, and no one knew what he was talking about. But it was insanely boring. And they noticed that he came from a big hill that was a volcano. And when the story got very boring, the volcano erupted. And the, the women were asleep from the boring story. <laughs> and they called him Mount Boredom. <laughs> and whenever, whenever, when, sometimes when he starts telling the story again, it was a good thing, not a bad thing, because the women got sleep and had a good pregnancy. So they would pray. When their women got pregnant, they would pray for Mount Boredom to come. <laughs> and he would show up and put them to sleep. But now he's he's showed up again in 2016, <laughs> and he's on my podcast. It's not see. Well, that's just a negative. We're hanging out with who? Jimmy in his office with Sarah towards the end now, of the relationship. What were you, they did, you, did they look down? Were they sure you were there? Yeah. <laughs> and she used to hang out with the writer John. We used to call him Gay John. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You mean Tall John? Tall John. Tall yeah. John was tall. Gay John was gay. <laughs> How do you know? John Schroeder. Yeah. Yeah, do you uh, do you have an anecdote about that? I know everybody. Though. Mario? Oh, wait, that's Mount Boredom erupting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mario. Oh, you got the volcano effect. Mount, Mount Boredom is erupting. <laughs> uh, the, 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 people don't know. It's an ancient legend. The Hawaiians say someone who looked like Mario would come down. <laughs> Their pregnant women couldn't he get to sleep. He actually wrote a couple of good um, skits for me. Huh? He wrote. Come on, bro, stop it. I'm sorry, right. guys. Go right ahead. Tell the story. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, with Ma along with Mount Boredom, my sinus is when, when I hear boredom. <laughs> What's that? Even the dishwasher was bored. Where did you oh, get is that? What that is? The, everything's going on. <laughs> See that? That's true. The the Hawaiians say the uh, <laughs> that everything uh, appliances get affected. <laughs> Where'd you get that vest? How many of those shitty vests do you have? Like, how many fucking episodes of Mork and Mindy did you raise? I have a bunch. <laughs> At least rabbis can get laid. Yep. And that's very nice. Mary, your thoughts? I used to see a rabbi 
um, in the video store. Come on, Dan, hang on to it for a second. All right, all right, all right, Dan got it. Rabbi in the video store renting all the movies. Right. <laughs> the porn movies. Oh, you're outing him now with the big. <laughs> that board of a violent. <laughs> that's what. That's that's Mount Tall. Yeah. Mount Tall and Mount Portman. That's what I think is going to happen if I eat something on uh, on Yom Kippur. Is that what? What? I, you know what, Dan? I'm Can sorry. I ask you a question, Dave? How is your house? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, my nose, Mount Portman. Come on, bro. Knock it off. Go right ahead. <laughs> How do you keep a. <laughs> um. <laughs> Read another joke. I gotta look at it first. What are you like? I didn't. At? I didn't ask you to do it without looking at it. <laughs> Everybody has to do that with their joke. There was something about the timing and the picking of the paper. Yeah. <laughs> Last week on his latest trial for a assi- ass- assisted suicide, <laughs> Dr. Jack Kavorsky stated <laughs> at a Michigan courtroom when he stood up and shouted, "This is larceny." Everyone turned to look, and sure enough, he just late uh, uh, launched. Do it again. <laughs> just do it again. I had some. I had. Some. Do it again. <laughs> On Wednesday, the world-class champion Gary Cuspo tied deep blue at the IBM supercomputer that can. Ex- Examine 200 million. Do it again. Just do it one more time. Something was wrong with the mic. There's nothing wrong with the mic. <laughs> On Wednesday, Super... <laughs> On Wednesday, World Chess Champion Gary Cusball tied deep blue... Uh, I hate to do this to you, Donald, but we have to bring out the contract again. <laughs> it says here, I have to smile four times a week <laughs> at camera. <laughs> I had the baby already. The baby's not retarded to everything. She passed the test. <laughs> uh, the baby looks mostly white. That's, I have passed that. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I tell people your hair looks good. <laughs> uh, there's nothing here. Uh, have sex with Jeter only inside. <laughs> You sound like a robot. Uh, like, um, <laughs> the, what's the robot from the Jetsons? Mario, can I explain something? That's the joke. <laughs> the joke is I sound like a robot. Not you. But that, you know, Her. What, what, <coughs> right, so I'm doing an impression of a robot. Mm-hmm. Well, right, that's the point I'm making. The, the, what, what you just interrupted, Mario, was the funny version of what you said. <laughs> okay, after every sentence, Billy Bob Thornton makes this noise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, and I remember seeing that movie and thinking it's amazing. You know how good of an actor you have to be to make that fucking noise after, and no one gets up as a revolt and leaves the theater. <laughs> but you accept that I guess he's just a retard and you don't mind that he makes that noise. That's how you go, mm. and he says the darkest shit. I'm gonna, mm. here's what I'm gonna do. Mm. I decided I'm gonna kill you. Mm. I'm gonna find a dull uh, razor blade, mm. and I'm gonna scrape the skin off your face, mm. and then I'm going down to the yonder uh, the barn where the, the kids make the crystal meth, mm. and I'm gonna ask to buy acid. Mm. The kids who make the methamphetamine they like me, because mm. I let their younger brother fondle my privates. Mm. He fondles my privates, and they like me. Mm. Because he's got a bit of a problem with his attitude. Mm. <laughs> but when he fondles my privates, he's not a, not a problem. Mm. So I let him fondle my privates and they give me acid. Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to scrape the skin off the left side of your face. Mm. And when he's done fondling my privates, when I ejaculate all over his jacket, mm. I'm going to come over here and scrape the skin off your face. Mm. <laughs> and then I'm going to pour the acid on your face. Mm. <laughs> Mara, shut up. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to pour the and when the pain is excruciating. Mm. Mm. Uh, shut his mic. Mario, you're not funny and you're ruining this. Mm. Mario, you're not funny. Mm. <laughs> Mario, you should play a cone. Mm. Mario, we can't find your reel on the internet. Mm. 
Do you want to fondle my private? You could just stand up and fondle my private. Mm. I'm trying to do a scene with Bobby DeVal. Mm. And you're an extra from 54. Mm. Your, uh, your mount board, I'm erupting. Mm. Here's how you... I'm making this noise, by the way. Mm. And Mary goes, eh. I mean, does he, is it delusional? <laughs> like, the, that's what you thought. We, the, the, zero comedic instincts. Zero talent. I'm going, mm, you're going, eh. Mm, eh, mm, eh. He wants to be, he wants to be noticed. He wants to be noticed so bad. Mario, you're pouting. Mm. Mm. Ma- eh. mm. Mario, do you want another Uber car? Mm. Mm. It's, the only, it's the only thing I can afford. Mm. I would like to scrape the side of your face off and pour acid on it. And after that, mm, I'm going to take you over to the set of Cosby mm, and have him rape you. My only regret is I didn't drive you to the set of Cosby mm, and have him and Gilbert Gottfried rape you. Mm. Dan, I can't take him making that noise. You have to stop. You have to stop. It's, 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 it's like, so, like it's the funniest bit and then followed by the least funny human being. <laughs> mm. Mario, mm. you're like the mm, an avalanche of unfunny. Mm. I'm trying to think what's. Well, I'm trying to think of something less funny than you, and I can't. He's still mm. trying to do it. I know. Mm. He told me I could be in 54 sequel 55. Mm. <laughs> he told me. That. He told me they were building a new club mm. on 55th Street. <laughs> Called 55. <laughs> I think it was bullshit. <laughs> mm. He said, Mario, you could be in it. We'll make your gun bigger. Mm. And we'll give you a line. You're going to say, please lower your nuts into my enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to stop. I have to stop. We've crossed the line of entertainment <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> now I'm just making myself. I honestly, I, I, I understand people that that hasn't been funny for a while. I'm making myself laugh. <laughs> But that's what you're paying for. You're paying for Roddy to make himself laugh. <laughs> it's a quarter a day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he hears a cheap bargain and he fucking comes. Is that is that's that's the noise Mario makes when he ejaculates? <laughs> mm. <laughs> he likes black jizz. When Mario sees a bunch of black jizz tumbling at him like a tidal wave of racial humor. Mm. <laughs> Wow, you went along with that. You're fucking making two dollars a day selling rag nuts. What I got shit. At least they're your rag nuts. <laughs> put that on your reel. <laughs> we should put that on your reel. Mm, you little feller. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, how terrible. Mm. You should put that on your reel. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> mm. Honestly, go stand in the hallway. I don't want. I want to do this bit. Go stand in the hall. Honestly, I don't want. Right, if I hear you, if I hear it, honestly, I'm gonna go crazy. All right, we'll see. I'm gonna throw you off the terrace. You don't get the money. I owe the money. No. I owe the money, and that's when Billy Bob Thornton say, mm. <laughs> "You little feller." Mm. I remember the time I scraped Matthew Broderick's dick dry. Mm. I circumcised Matthew Broderick. Mm. Oh God. I, I, I honestly, Mario, you have to stay in the hallway. <laughs> Dan, escort him to the hall. Come here, Mario. I want you to stay in the hallway. Come on. I want you to stay in the hallway. I hate you. Come on. Uh, you you're ruining the comedy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Would you like to see them, Mr. Giffen? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Giffen, do you know? I, I assume you know a good wax place. Ah. Could, could you imagine how waxed clean David Giffen is? Oh. David Giffen, Dan, <laughs> what's the timing? Right over the punchline. <laughs> I was going to say, could you imagine that David Giffen's asshole is? Before I said asshole, there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's like, could you imagine how David Giffen? <laughs> <laughs> and then the man goes, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, I, you can't. I, d- honestly, Mar- I get. I'm getting really angry with that. Don't ever do it. Can, please, can we have a, f- a truce? You can never make that noise again. When you sum up my life, a lot of it's wrong. But in the end, I delivered the bum. <laughs> you understand? That monologue is a metaphor for my life. The way I do it, I get a lot wrong. 
I forget lines. I stumble over lines. My accent goes from Robert Shaw to <laughs> Artie Shaw, <laughs> <laughs> who was a Jewish band leader from the 40s from Brooklyn, <laughs> who I, from what I can tell, sounded nothing like Robert Shaw. <laughs> so I got a lot wrong. I got a lot wrong. <laughs> I mean, wrong to where you're embarrassed for me. <laughs> but when I got it right, I delivered the bum. Three hundred and fifty grand. I got two I got in two checks, half and half. What's that? 175 K a piece, one for sign and one for when I stopped. It was a six month deal. It wasn't a development deal, I just wanted to see if I could be available for something. They sent me one script, I said I don't like the script. They said fine. Two weeks later I got a check for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. For me, home run for their accounting department, bum. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I deliver <laughs> What are you doing? So I mean honestly, you're terrible. That was another bomb. I'm responsible for the Mario bombs. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> Mario's, when God put comedic instinct in Mario, bum. He bummed big time. <laughs> I've never seen someone who knows less about, lesser than God. I mean, there's no timing. There's no talent. There's nothing. Thank God we can laugh at him. <laughs> bum. Boschetti, bum. <laughs> Boschetti's head, bum. <laughs> Boschetti, when he talks about on Twitter about how his arms are big, bum. What's about it, Dan? You don't laugh at this anymore? Boschetti's arms are big? <laughs> Why are you silent? I don't get it. Danny, bum. I'm bombing with Danny. <laughs> he wants to talk at his architectural school about London. <laughs> bum. What else? I've had a lot of bums. Norm show. Well, it lasted two years. First year, 30 grand a week, 22 shows. Second year, 35 grand a week, 22 shows. And the idea was that we got ratings. We didn't deliver our part of the bargain. No. I got the checks that cleared. Bought my mom a house. I had a house. I bought my girlfriend's shoes. <laughs> and another pair of shoes. She could play me like a fiddle. Bum. Ba bum. <laughs> uh, that's it. You, know, you come in and go, Wah. Wah. Hey, well, look at me, I'm here. <laughs> look at me, I'm here. <laughs> and then he perfects the pout, the art of the pout to get what he wants. All right, can you buy Uber for the next 10 years? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this. I gave a sound effect to the Mario pout. <laughs> Dan, can you turn my microphone up? No. Mm. <laughs> Dan, can I have more food? No. Mm. <laughs> Artie, can you write my stand-up comedy act and then make me uh, uh, your opener? No. Mm. <laughs> Artie, can I get paid more when I open for you? Even though I've never done stand-up before, there's a lot of comedians who've been doing it for years who deserve it. Mm. I never asked for more. You ask for more, more, more. <laughs> Artie, can I have more, more, more? No. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, no. More, more, more. No, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Artie, I want more, more, more. No, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I go three mores, three no's, three pouts. <laughs> three pouts and you're out. <laughs> you're on your second pout, pal. You got two pouts. You look at that third pout. We just started. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Three pouts in your mouth. I know. We got radio gold already. <laughs> Artie, can I have more, more, more? No, no, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> can I have more jokes, jokes, jokes? No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Again, look at this him. is what got you in trouble the last time. Mario, but, but shut up. I'm playing along with the game. But you're ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> you have. I never. Honestly, I'm going to say something, and I'm big dead serious. <laughs> I'll be dead serious. <laughs> you have the worst comedic instinct ever. We're just taking the ride, including Mario. That's okay. Stop, uh, stop it. Not pouting. No, uh, just say it's okay. Mm. Mm. Can I come on the helicopter? No. Mm. Dan, any chance of that helicopter picking me up in Bensonhurst? Is that your Mario impression? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. That's awful. That's worse than your black guy. Do it again. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> is there any? I'm gonna be late if I don't. Is there any chance of that helicopter 
Kicking me up Okay, let's let's look. This is, this, is, this in itself is a podcast. <laughs> An analyzing Dan's Mario Bosco impression <laughs> is a podcast. <laughs> it's a fucking documentary. First of all, the anger, the the the, the passive aggressive. He Dan clearly hates him <laughs> oh. <laughs> because he's 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 threatening taking time away from me. <laughs> oh boy! All right, he's my friend. You don't come in here. <laughs> You don't come in here and get laughs. Not in my house. Not in my fucking party. <laughs> he's like he's like Billy Bats and Goodfellas. <laughs> Wreck my fucking party. <laughs> come on, you feel strong. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right here. Don't worry about it. And then after the show, he'll go. I'm hungry. So now go Mark- get yeah. Now go get your fucking candy box. <laughs> yeah, go get your candy box. <laughs> go get your candy box. What's hey that? Dan, like it's on a sh- shoe shoe shine box. <laughs> shoe shine box. Shine box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mario, Mario's like, oh, uh, Dan, you've been away. But Mario is not like Joe Pesci. He hasn't moved on in life. He's like, uh, actually, Dan, you're right. I still sell candy. <laughs> uh, I paid a bill. Uh, it's been 30 years. Uh, maybe uh, in the movie, hey, listen, you've been around too long. I don't sell, I don't sign no more shoes. On, but, and in this one, Mario's like, it's been 30 years. I still sell candy. <laughs> <laughs> I changed spots though because one part of the boardwalk blew up at Sandy. <laughs> no, I changed spots. I changed spots. <laughs> you may, maybe you didn't hear I play a cone in a movie. <laughs> First of all, I'm in the same spot. Don't explain anything. These are That's jokes. your corner. These are jokes, man. Okay. These are jokes, but it's actually true. <laughs> By the way, can that helicopter pick me up in Dyker Heights? Mm. <laughs> you know what? We'll save time. I'll go directly to the pound. <laughs> <laughs> when you ask a question, I'll just go, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Save time. <laughs> ask if you, I can pay your Uber tonight. Ask if you, I can pay your Uber tonight. Can you pay for mm. my Uber? <laughs> 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 ask if there's any food. No, the refrigerator is full. Ask if so there's any food. Is there any food for me? Mm. <laughs> I should have got one back. What's, so now I make 24 grand. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like the other six grand is going to mean anything. <laughs> How'd you get back to Timmy Jr.? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm not even answering your question. That means you're interrupting. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> but aren't we all here mm. for that? <laughs> Mm. Oh shit! Uh. <laughs> Are you distracted by the TV, like shiny objects? No, it'd be mm. the TV. The car hit the the car. <laughs> <laughs> I shut the TV over. I <laughs> fucked that one up. Mm. <laughs> Fuck that one up. What are you looking at your life? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, and I bitch and moan about that. I bitch and moan about that. About what? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> These are rhetorical questions, you dick. Just don't even fucking think about helping the the, 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 the When I look at you, first of all, what's you creepy with that with the way you cross your legs? What is that? You look like a bro. Dude, you were so content. You said that. Uh, yeah, well, now he's a friend of mine. How did they prep the duck? Is I it do, a, a shut lo- up. Lunch? I'm serious. I want to know how you I know eat. you're serious. I'm not. Is I'm, I'm bait- trying to make money here, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, where's the fucking Mount Board? I mean, what the fuck? You hear when he when you said how they prep the duck, you could hear subscribers canceling. <laughs> no, I you could hear them go click like, how out. Did you, how did you order? Shut up! Nobody cares. You actually made a falato story more boring. Mark Wahlberger, and then they Wahlberg. they've written some feature films. Wahlberger is yeah. that what it's called? Wahlberg. What did I call it? Wahlburgers. No. <laughs> You said the name of the show is Wahlburger, which is true. Then you called him Mark Wahlburger. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that pisses Can we hear some of your uh, e- funny emails? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Who are you, Byron Allen? I didn't have time to like... Uh, it's me and Young. I didn't, I, I didn't have time to do a Byron Allen. <laughs> That's a good one. Joe? No one got that, but I got it. Joe, can we hear some of your funny emails? <laughs> Norm MacDonald had a really funny joke about Byron Allen. And you know, unleashed. Is, what is the joke? The I joke know you is, know I did that show unleashed. I never felt more leashed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the greatest one ever. One of the funniest things ever. He's leading people out, like you know, and he comes to uh, John Lovitz and goes, "John, I understand you're getting older." <laughs> <laughs> Mario, here's a comedy quiz. Why is that funny? Because John Lovitz is older. 
No. Does again? I knew him. <laughs> why is that funny? Him saying John Adams. Why is that funny? I don't know. Think what? about it. <laughs> We'd be here till Christmas. <laughs> Why is it, like, in other words, when you lead somebody on, it's because something happened to them that's kind of unique. Like, it doesn't happen to everybody. Oh, like me being bored? No, that's <laughs> an example of something that happens to everybody. Like, in other words, I would say, uh, uh, Mario, I understand you sell candy at the boardwalk. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's unique to you. So why is it funny if he says to someone, if he says to a human being, I understand you're getting older. Why is that funny? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Kid wants to be in comedy. That's why I'm here to learn. You can't learn. Anything. After this conversation, you have no chance. That's like what a lot of these emails are getting. That's yeah. funny that you said they're like, I've never done it, but I think I could be a quick learner. <laughs> oh, I've I'm had like, people. It I've doesn't had people, work. Yeah, yeah right. Business. You're not looking to teach anybody. No. I'm not Jimmy Mandrinas. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Mandrinas. Have that for a reference. <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, so Mario, in other words, but what that, it's actually worse. What that conversation we just had proves is not only are you not funny, you might be retarded. <laughs> in other words, okay, I'm not, should I not, I should not explain it to him. No, you I should. want you to think about it for weeks and weeks. <laughs> is there, do you think anyone is, do you think anyone, here's a question. Do you think anybody in Mario's world would know why that's funny? <laughs> no. Like if he had a lifeline, no one he knows would think it. Right? If I had a lifeline <laughs> to call at this moment, yeah, no, nobody in Bensonhurst would know. <laughs> no, people might know in Bensonhurst, but the Windsor know this. Get out of Bensonhurst. <laughs> I got another couple of people hooked on the fat show. My 600-pound life, Anthony. Well, uh, Mario doesn't watch it. He doesn't make fun of it. Why? To listen to this hypocrite. I'm not a hypocrite. He said, he said that you, you call yourself a Christian. You laugh at this stuff. I'm a Catholic. What I'm does that mean? So how come you break every other commandment? Uh, that shit, I'll steal. You are such a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> Catholics laugh at a lot do, of other you people. You rip, exa- you rip people off with those stupid candy. <laughs> <laughs> You're racist. You I'm know, not racist You know, why your sister all. marrying a black guy or Puerto Rican? My cousin said that to me that day because you know you're a little racist. You're I a said, big what racist. The fuck what was he talking about, height? Here's got a dog. Here's got two dogs. Yeah, but does he call you when they're on Santa's lap? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> if my, I don't know. If I was on Santa's lap, you'd call somebody because I, I've clearly lost my mind. <laughs> Would you like to go sit on Santa's lap? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to count to 10. One, two, three. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> See the Giants? Yeah, exactly. If one of the Giants were on Santa's lap, <laughs> if Lawrence Taylor was on Santa's lap, Fuck the joints, Mike. They lost my cowboy. Go stand outside. Cold. Anthony's an equal partner <laughs> oh, in, the, in the apartment. You're the boss. Anthony is always a hierarchy above me. <laughs> and was, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Mario, I can hear you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm looking at the picture of the dogs. I, listen, listen oh, to me. God. Listen to me. I have to go outside. <laughs> Why are you showing them the dogs, Dan? You're distracting me. Both of you go outside. I did. I had the phone over just leave by it, me. Just leave it on and go outside. <laughs> Turn the mics on and go outside. I'll call you. I'll call you when we have a podcast. Then why do I come here? What, what, what'd you just do? <laughs> what was that? He, he knocked the phone down. That's Get outside, phone. dickhead. You did that on purpose. Did you just do that on purpose? No, I Uh-oh. put it down. You fucking, you were mad. How dare you break something? I didn't break anything. I put it down. Bye. Bye-bye. It's so Are you really I love the walk. Outside. I love the walk. <laughs> <laughs> he won't leave because he has to pay for the Uber if he leaves. <laughs> Oh, did you really send him outside? Yeah. Everybody's chewing. Mmm. Good candy. Dude, get that the hell. What are you doing? I'm having it, jelly It's beans. disgusting. It's You're on the air. Try to be professional. <laughs> Dan okay. gave it Four to months me. ago, I uh, gave you an assignment to read the newspaper. Did you do that yet? No, not yet. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do something else for a living. Just be resolved <laughs> to the fact that, I mean, sell candy. That's what. You, that's the only thing you do. I told Mario he wants to be a comedian, right? Mario goes, I'll let me be a comedian. I'm like, all right. And, and then he goes, well, well who's going to write me jokes? I go, what? <laughs> Nobody is. <laughs> you. You have to write jokes. But, then but, he goes, okay, I'll, I'll do something for you. I'll spend 40 seconds on your career, <laughs> which is 40 seconds more than anyone spent on mine. Okay? Besides me. Do not eat them again. Otherwise, I'm throwing them the terrace. <laughs> You're on the air. All right. I'm having a 
jelly bean. <laughs> oh, he's gonna throw. <laughs> Don't throw the jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> You're expecting a loaf. Guess who's cleaning that up? You. You're closer to the ground. What kind of dog is it? Brussels. Brussels griffon. <laughs> it's got to be a Brussels griffon, I guess. It There's two Brussels griffons and a Jack. <laughs> Uh, Jack uh, Terrier, what, Jack. You know exactly what it is. Why do you do this constantly? What's the ter Jack Russell Terrier? Yeah, Russell Terrier. How many dogs does she have? Three. Three. <laughs> Christ. Not all. <laughs> do you ever go to their house, Bobby? <laughs> oh, try it again. <laughs> do you go to your sister's house a lot? I'm sorry. What? Do you go to your sister's house a lot? Because the dog must be giving you a lot of allergies. I'm sorry, what, man? Mario, uh, what's that again? I take the fifth. Mary, tell me more about your job. My job? I How do you sell candy. Where do you get the candy from? Buy below Dollar Tree, Dollar Stores. <laughs> Jesus, you just blew my ear out. <laughs> Paul, what do you have to say about that? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it all out? <laughs> <laughs>